Hello, hello, Blartanian here, with a TCC challenge for the Kaiser Behemoth Lofenia. Um, we have Lightning, Garland, syn all synergy, and yeah, that's a and that's a that's everything that's banned here. They're letting burst phase in, which is great um, for me anyway, because I don't have Aranea, and she's kind of not essential to get through this. You know, get through the TCC challenge. I've seen people doing it with Waka and. Shantoto and cool stuff like that, but it's pretty darn hard if you don't have Aranea. Uh, I had to f do some jiggery pokery to, uh, to get to this stage, um, and I will be using a burst, but I'm still pretty happy with how this turned out. We got Squall, Terra, and Ishtola here, and I'm very happy to be using Ishtola. A lot of fun to use. Um, surprised that I got to use Terra here as well. So we're, um... Just barely squeaking by here with Jack Call, because uh, Terra cannot touch that behemoth, behemoth. Otherwise, being magic, we're gonna get wrecked. So instead, she's gonna be using Meltdown on the mannequin, who we also do not want to act at all. We're actually okay with the behemoth acting if we can, you know, if, if it has to. We're using the same strategy I used in the Abyss, actually. Um, using Selfie Call along with the buff given from Lulu Call to permanently enchant Squall with fire damage since the Behemoth is immune to Imperil. We bring in Garland now. And we're going, the goal here is we want to get that Behemoth below 59% um, before Terra is back, more or less. Uh, at which point we can summon Ramu, paralyze him with the Judgment Bolt, and let Terra go to town. Basically, up until this point, we were using the mannequin to let Terra and Ishtola get attacks in and delays in without actually, you know, uh, triggering the counter. Lucky miss there. Garland ended up actually having to use his LD when he came in because the orb was so low. Oh, man. Garland, uh, he is good times. I, I did get the BT, and I'm going to probably try to record a video using it just because it's so much fun to use. But see, speaking of fun BT units, um, the goal from here on out, Squall's just going to be doing his every other turn assault trigger fire damage to do a, a whole a whole boatload of weakness damage there. Yeah, that's like you know, 300k. Ishtola is, basically, Ishtola is spamming Medica, which is awesome because it doesn't use the turn count and lets her kind of pass her turn while still benefiting the team. We're not going to be touching a Flatus Misery for a little while. Because again, we do not want to touch the boss until Judgment Bolt is active. And I could summon at this... Or no, we can't summon yet. What was I thinking? Um, once we can summon, I'm not going to immediately. Just to try to get as many... Uh, Terra turns once the paralysis is active as we can. One of those things were like, in the heat of the moment, I wasn't really sure if it was the, you know, when the optimal time to summon was. But here we go, just pushed pushed him just under 59 right before Yishtola would have had to go, so that was perfect. So I think, do we summon here? No, I think we, we can afford to let the Behemoth act at this point, I think, but I decide not to because I think he has some kind of move, a smoke move or something that prevents skills from being used, and I didn't want to take the chance that he was going to use that in Squall and completely mess me up. Oh, uh, also, shout out to Mark of the Crystal Chronicles podcast for his Garland. It uh, ends up coming in real handy here. He's going to be tagging out in a second, but he, as you saw, he did good work there. So now I was contemplating using the uh, Scion's Holy to get a rebreak there, but because the Mannequin had higher Brave than the Behemoth, I think the Behemoth was actually going to get broken before the Mannequin was. It would have messed up the turn order. Terra's back. You see, she is at this one out of magic because I had used those two meltdowns early on, so I'm actually going to use the last summon turns to bring Jack Call here and to let her get a free, uh, or not free, but, you know, let her get a, use a regular Meteor Plus. Magic Meteor, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I calculated it. The boss has, I think, what, three and a half million hit points or something like that. And Terra, with her high armor, is doing, like, a little over 200,000 damage per meteor. So I thought to myself, okay, 
I could probably, once I got to this point and had, you know, made him cleanse, get up, reheal, and then paralyze him, I think Terra LD can carry it to the end if we're careful. Uh, to be on the safe side there, and to make sure that our, you know, since we only have one support with auras and everyone knows Ishtola's auras are not the best auras in the game, I figured she'd be the burst I use. Um, as a reminder, Ishtola is a bad character, her burst is a, is a bad burst unit. Uh, I'm being very sarcastic there because, um, as I said before, I think usually you want your damage dealer doing the burst phase, you know, squall or whatever, but here, Terra's going to be taking so many turns and taking such advantage of that burst effect. And she, with the, as the only support on the team here, since we have two pure damage dealers, um, being able to just drop a burst effect and have Terra go completely nuts is going to be really helpful, as you're going to see. Um, so you see there, the boss just took about 3% of its health from the meteor, and that's going to remain pretty constant throughout the rest of the fight. So the name of the game from here on out is... We're going to try to use you know, every one of Terra's meteors... Um, Use Ishtola occasionally to delay, to keep the orb in check. And when Squall's turn comes up, Squall's going to use his EX and hit for massive fire damage, and it's going to be cool. Um, he'll occasionally also help deal with the mannequin should it show up again. Reuse, getting a reuse of stone at the cost of a burst turn. Uh, in hindsight, seeing the way this shook out, maybe I didn't need to do that, but I wasn't sure how many stones I was going to need to spam to make this work. I wanted to make sure I had them all. Now, the mannequin's back. He jumps over there, which is not the greatest. Um, but it, it, it'll work out okay. So for Terra here, she's going to keep on, keep on keeping on. The boss now is at 46% or so. And that just, or hmm, must have been closer to 43 or something. I don't know. And in any case, he went from 41 to 38. So you can see again, 3% between Jack and Yishtola, and of course Terra herself. Uh, I did get uh, Terra's high armor for this to make sure this worked. Uh, Pikachu actually convinced me to after kind of pointing out just how much more damage she does in total uh, with the raised brave cap using Meteor. Using the EX here to refresh her, uh, her Esper blood buff. Frame buff. Squall is continuing to support that damage. So now, we're going to get a launch off, and we're going to break both of them with Yishtola's LD. And I've talked before about how much I enjoy having a support who has on-demand turn manipulation effects. You see right there how useful that was. Because basically, the way this works is... We're having our damage dealers, you know, dance in circles around our support, and just having the support make sure the turns line up and are good. Speaking of good, boss is at 18, 8 counts on the orb, so I had to make the decision here of, do I have enough damage to kill him before Yishola needs to lay again? And, turns out I do. So Terra, uh, without actually using every single one of her free LD turns, is going to melt this guy. Uh, no Terra BT, no, uh, no synergy used, really just a jack call and Yishtola's burst effect is all we needed to just kind of melt this guy, which is awesome. Um, a, uh, Terra lives up to the hype. And this is before the Yang thing, or Yang? This is before Terra Yang was going to become a thing, so I guess you can expect that to be even more wild. Anyway, this was super fun clear of the TCC challenge. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, uh, consider liking and subscribing if you'd like to see more, and I will see you in the next video. Adios.